got a really quick revision video here that covers all the different formulae for the acids, bases and buffers topic. So I'm splitting into five sections. I'm going to go across the top row first, then we'll go across the bottom. So in general terms, the pH of anything is the minus log of the H plus concentration. And if you're given the pH, you can calculate the H plus concentration by 10 to the minus pH. So if you've got a strong acid which fully dissociates, if you know the concentration of the acid, you can calculate the H plus concentration really easily and minus log that. If we've got a strong base, we need to use the Kw expression. So Kw is the hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by the OH minus concentration. And remember at 25 degrees C, this is on the data book, it has a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So rearranging that to get the H plus concentration, so we can minus log for a pH, it's Kw divided by the OH minus ion concentration. And remember strong bases, they are fully dissociated as well. So as long as you know the concentration of the base, you can work out very easily the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So if you've got a question about water, we use the Kw expression again. And often they'll ask you to calculate the pH of water at a different temperature other than 25 degrees C. So we need to bear in mind that the H plus concentration and the OH minus ion concentration are the same. And so therefore we can simplify the Kw expression to H plus concentration squared. And so the H plus concentration will be the square root of Kw. And then obviously we minus log the H plus concentration. So weak monobasic acids now, they tend to be represented in the form of HA. So they partially dissociate into the H plus ion and A minus ion. And because they're monobasic acids, H plus concentration and A minus concentration will be the same. So we can simplify the Ka expression to H plus concentration squared over HA. And then rearranging that for H plus concentration, we get the square root of Ka times HA concentration, or square root of Kaha is an easy way to remember that. Also, we might need to find the pKa for the weak acid, so that's minus log of Ka, or we might have to do the reverse of that, so Ka is equal 10 to the minus pKa. And finally, buffer solutions. The H plus concentration of a buffer solution is equal to Ka, so that's the acid dissociation constant of the weak acid that's making the buffer, multiplied by the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration. So H plus concentration for a buffer is equal to Cassid over salt, is how I get my students to remember that. You might also be asked to calculate the acid to salt concentration ratio. So all I've done there is rearrange, so I've got acid concentration over salt concentration. So you can see that equals the H plus concentration over Ka.